All right, this is a Chromebook. It's like a decent sized Chromebook. We're gonna try and do a reset on this. And yeah. All right, well, I hope you should enjoy your day off then. Computer not powering on, all right. So I remember we looked at this, he got it running a little bit, but overall, like, he was having issues with it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to do what I've done on all of them. I have the Windex, yeah. Sitting right there. It's sitting right there. There's two of them there. Okay. All right. So this is a this is an Asus Chromebook. It's a CXB 170CK. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart. We're gonna pull the battery, plug it in with the power cord, and see if it works with just the power cord. And so on the bottom of this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws. So let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Three, four, all these screws are the same, thankfully. Five, six, seven, If you want to take a screenshot of that list confused and like just toss it in our discord, that would, that would work as well. Ten. Eleven. All right, and then we're just going to take a look at a simple little pry tool, get under this edge, and then just very gently work our way around, releasing the clips, and separating this plastic so we can get the bottom removed. There we go. All right, as we can see, this has a pretty decent sized battery in it. And we're going to unplug the battery. And then I'm going to plug that in. We don't get a status light over there. Let's see if we get any life out of this now. Without the battery plugged in. So I get I do have a status light over here on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and press the power button, see if we get anything from that. Doesn't look like it. This thing might just be dead. Ooh, we got a we got a flashing thing now. That should still work even with the battery not connected. Now we're charging. Yeah, this isn't 
This guy's not turning on. Okay. So unplug that, unplug that. Grab a multimeter real quick. We're going to check for a short. No short. Could be our keyboard. So that'll be the next step. Oh, let's move this up a little bit. We're going to put this right there. Let's see if we can't find Alright, so I found the power switch on the keyboard and it's definitely working, so it's got to be something with the motherboard then. Could be this DC jack. Let's pull this real quick. There's not a lot here, so it should be relatively simple and straightforward. We're going to disconnect all of these cables. I'm just going to disconnect. This little metal plate slides back. That lifts. And then this lifts up. We can plug this back into the battery so it doesn't get lost. So that goes in there. We're lifting all these ribbon cables and disconnecting all these ribbon cables. Unplug our speakers. Unplug our video connector. Lift that. Pull straight back. Wi-Fi. Auxiliary. Alright. Let's go ahead and pull this. So we're going to remove screws from this heat block. One, two. And then we're going to start hitting the motherboard. One, two. Um, we're gonna, we need to lift this hinge. Two, three, four. Now, again, as always, don't be surprised at how much effort it takes to lift this hinge. That lifted. And I'll take a closer look. There are some capacitors behind there. We'll check that. Motherboard. And we got a couple flat guys on the motherboard. So there and there, and actually, so it's three. And let's see here. Yep, and now the motherboard just comes out. All right. Yeah, this is this is one of the easiest computers I've ever taken apart, as far as like looking at just like simple repairs. Got to be careful. There's these little like rubberized feet that keep that are there to make sure that the screen doesn't slam into the keyboard okay let's check some of these other so like i said i'm actually seeing what looks to be like some liquid damage Grab the quick microscope. Let's 
Fun. Where are we right now? We're all the way over here. Let's check the other side of this because there was. I wanted to look at a better look at that. Um, I have a continuity tester for this. Go ahead and plug that in. Make sure there's not something wrong here. We are getting an LED out of this. Well, and what we can do is, with that plugged in, just make sure we're getting what we're supposed to be getting. Should be two. Three. Um, four, six, that probably makes this five, yeah, seven, no, yep, seven, eight, should make this nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's working all fine. Let's check. We got some capacitors under here. Let's check these. Well, unfortunately, this means more than likely it's, it's a problem with the CPU die itself. Let's see what this thing costs to replace. All right. Yeah. This, unfortunately, is just a replace. Replace the whole thing. So this whole computer is 300 bucks. So there's absolutely no reason to sink any sort of, like, huge amount of money into this. Because, like, my repair cost is $100. The part would probably be $150 if I could find it, which doesn't look like I can. So you're at $250. For literally $50 more, you can get a brand new one. One, two, three, four. So it's... A better idea for the customer to just replace it with something new rather than attempt to fix this because because of what it is because it's a chromebook there's nothing stored on this anyways it is it's just a catch so it is online like 99 percent of what you do on these things is stored online Now watch, now that I've taken this thing all the way apart, I'm just gonna fire right back up. So that is this thing actually completely taken apart and put back together. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Oh. All right, so get this back together. One, two, three, four. 
four. I forgot to bring that soup for you again. Five. X. Uh, not this Sunday. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And just that last Yeah, and when I press this power button, literally nothing happens. So Apparently it's something with this motherboard. And like I said, it's not worth because of what it is, it's not worth fixing. Because, like I said, you can buy a brand new one of these, like right now, walk down to Best Buy and pick it up, 300 bucks. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you ever have a question or concern about your computer, and you just want to see if you can get an answer, swing by my Twitch channel. I'm usually there live. I can either myself or one of my community members will be able to answer your question. Um, so stop by, hang out, and maybe learn a thing or two.